Hey guys, my kids had what seemed like the longest spring break ever this year, and it happened to coincide with some super hot weather. So they thought the perfect opportunity for a lemonade stand. Lemonade! I thought you had me. They promised to handle everything themselves, and it wasn't without some hiccups. We have a problem with the plastic cups. But I have to say, they crushed it. Some pretty good money for charity here. Here's how they did it and some tips they learned along the way. We got a customer. Okay, so to start with, they decided it was best to tackle this project with some friends. Hey, whatever was gonna get me off the hook. This one can say lemonade stand and this one can say donate to charity. Okay, great. You guys are just watching. They started by making the lemonade so it could get cold in the fridge. Look at this fancy lemonade you guys are doing. <laughs> you would think that my kids would reference the homemade lemonade episode I made. That was a really good one. But Avery said if she was gonna do it herself, she needed to keep it simple. So she just picked up a giant tub from Costco, good old country time lemonade for like nine bucks. Okay. You better not be showing this. Though mixing it did require a little brain power. Wouldn't it be eight cups? Okay. Because there's four pints in a gallon, right? <laughs> This is a math class, guys. What? Is it three? Please start over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sass. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. They did a few things to make the lemonade fancier. Avery started by making lemon filled ice cubes. Seems very precise. Don't want to spill anything. They sliced lemons just to put in the pitcher of the lemonade and make it look cooler. This makes it totally look like it's definitely not from powder. Definitely not from powder. Of course it's not from powder. Of course it's not from powder. Why would it be from powder? And they offered a few different flavors on the menu. Next up was setting up the actual stand, and I was hoping to convince Brooke to do a DIY stand, but no such luck, she was out of town on spring break. So instead, Avery headed to the dollar store and picked up some fun supplies. So we found the posters, and we decided to go with some bright color ones. And so we get this one, and I got a bright red one. We decided to get a confetti popper. I don't know why, but we thought it'd be fun. For their base, the kids used just a simple folding table, and then they made some signs to attract attention. No pressure to spell everything right, girls. And added some fun accessories. The boys got stuck with the hardest job, which was blowing up <laughs> and tying the balloons. You want me to tie it now? Great job, bud. Hey, it's hard work. Exactly. Which looked cute until they popped in the sun. You guys. Yeah. Avery also picked up a confetti cannon, which was admittedly very cool for the second that it lasted. <laughs> but I'm not sure how we're gonna pick up all the confetti from the grass. Not sure that was worth it. Once the stand was set up, looking good guys, the customers walked, drove, and biked in. It took about five minutes for the girls to serve the first customer. Okay, let me get you your ice. You do know that, right? But eventually they got the hang of it. Okay, OG lemonade. What do you want? OG. Pink lemonade. And what do you want? Blackberry lemonade. Okay. I'll One of everything. Yay. Wait, let me get you your ice. What? The lemonade? Another guys? customer. One of the boys had a brilliant idea. Put money in there so it will look popular. Oh, I like that idea. And it served a dual purpose. Can I change? <laughs> okay. um, we need change baggies. And it wouldn't be a What's Up Mom's video without a pool noodle, so Avery used one to attract customers. Yeah. I'm not a customer and to stay cool. Dual purpose. Of course, the kids picked like the hottest day ever to run the lemonade stand, and while 95 degree heat is great for selling lemonade, it is less good for staying cool. Luckily, Brooks came to the rescue. Lemonade! I thought you had lemonade! And the biggest umbrella you've ever lemonade. seen. The other issue with the heat was that the cups got hot. So our next tip is don't leave your plastic cups in the sun because they will start to melt and it will ruin your lemonade. Yeah, it was very diluted and tasted like cough syrup. In the end, the lemonade stand was a huge success. All right guys, looks like you made some pretty good money for charity here. Yeah. They raised $70 for charity, which they gave to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. I'll link that below in case you guys also want to donate. It was a super fun day that required very little of me. Was it a success, do you think? Yeah, definitely. definitely. If you guys try a lemonade stand, tag us to share photos. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. The remains of the day.